Hey guys, Drew the Cush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. We got our head shipper here. Ships out all the coins. Uh, her name's Willow. Just wanted to introduce her. But we're going to talk about some raw coins today, what we think they're going to grade at PCGS, give you guys our opinion on them, and then also show you guys some new purchases. Let's get this video started. So we just got back from an antique shop where we ended up buying some raw coins locally. And we just wanted to show you guys what we thought of them. It may be beneficial to you when you're walking through a show. You can pick up on certain things that we talk about and use that for buying coins and then sending them to PCGS. Most of the time, there's a lot of coins out there that are raw, that have been cleaned, that have wipes, that have wheel marks. And so we're going to be honest, straightforward with the coins that we bought and give you guys our perspective. If you guys want to check out what shows we'll be at next, just hanging around. Uh, we're going to be set up at TNA. We're also going to be at a few local shows, but we'll leave those all down in the description below. But let's show you guys some cool new purchases that we got. All right, guys. So here is a view of some of our new purchases. Not too many crazy things in, but they're all old holders. We got the two thick, you know, one piece NGC holders here. Nice sticker on the back still. Then we got a little soapbox and an old green holder. Let's start off with the Long Island. You know, not many problems in the field. There is a little friction on the face and on the high points. Just to let you guys know ahead of time. Definitely an affordable piece. Nothing too rare about that coin. 1917, 50 cent from Japan. I got these both because they had some great color. They're mint state. And, you know, they were a little bit earlier in the 19th century. So definitely like this coin. A little lackluster compared to the 37 I'm about to show you. But both really beautiful, stunning pieces. I mean, look at that blazing luster on this coin. It's a little bit of an older piece. Or I'm sorry, a little bit of a younger piece. So maybe these ones are just fresh off the press and they come this good. So just something for you guys to take a look at. Now we have this 1944D uh, Mercury Dime. CEC approved, OGH, all the bells and whistles. Love buying coins like this. Uh, sometimes we don't make a whole ton of money on them. But they are just coins that we want to make sure you love. So definitely check these coins out. Alrighty guys, so here's a quick view of the raw coins we're talking about today. There are some that we're sending in, some that we're not sending in. But I'll make sure to clue you in on those. First up is this 1849 seated dime. And it's uh, from the New Orleans Mint. It's been cleaned, in my opinion. You can see the retoning on the obverse, especially on uh, the details. It almost gives you like a, like a shiny look. And when you see this, you know, uh, red and blue, like we talked about in previous videos, you can really see that it kind of retoned over. But we'll talk a little bit about the reverse here. And you can see there's just this white popping out. They use some type of chemical on this coin on the reverse. And so big no-no. We're not going to make a whole lot on this coin. We just thought it was a really nice, cool type piece. It is a small O and not a big O. And those are pretty hard to come by. So that's why I was drawn to this coin. I would grade this one personally, myself, probably XF details. I don't think the luster is there for an AU, but I'd love to hear what you guys think down below. We have this 1909S VDB. I checked the die markers. I felt it was strong and correct. Personally, I think this coin is fine, fine 15. When you're looking at this coin, you want to check on the high points, especially near the ear and on the detail on his shirt. And when checking PCGS True Views, I felt this was accurate. Maybe a fine 12, fine 15. There are some spots in the reverse, but I think they might let those go, especially in this condition. We have two 93 O's here and a 19030. The first one I want to talk about is this one. Now, we didn't pay these prices for them, but if you want to check those out, make sure to check out our online coin shop. They'll be a lot less than this because that's just not the going rate for these. So when you take a look at the rim, that's what you really want for low ball uh, Morgan dollars. The rim is basically full here, except for where you see the E. So we see these kind of, um, I kind of, I, I forgot what the name of it's called, but you can see the full detail on the rim and you're kind of seeing it wear out a little bit on this left side. That's a telltale sign. It's probably anywhere between AG to G, which is good. And so this coin, I think overall is nice. There is a scratch right across the eagle, but I don't think they would hold this coin back from being straight graded. No big ribbon bumps other than the one right above the C and the A in America. 
but overall a nice better day very affordable if you're wanting to fill up an album something we're not going to be sending in for grading the two coins we're going to be focusing on to send in is the 1909s vdb because not a lot of people want to purchase them when they're raw and the 19030 just because how nice it is so when you take a look at this coin the luster is full you can see the cartwheels coming across in the background and there is a flat strike right on the hair above the ear that is really uh, happening a lot, especially in New Orleans Mint coins. The dies fell apart pretty easy, and they didn't take care of them. A lot of chatter going on on the face. In the fields, I think the luster is so strong. There's a little chatter in front here, but to me, I think this coin's a Mint State 63, possibly a plus. Very low likelihood it's a 64, but wish us luck. When you take a look at the reverse, very flat breast feathers, like we were talking about with the strike. And the luster is phenomenal. I do think the luster is the plus about this coin, and the strike is the negative. And so, we'd we'll love to hear what you guys think. You guys take a look at a lot of nice coins, and I really value your opinion. Here's the last 19, I'm sorry, 1893 O. Nice circulated cameo to the coin. Few distracting rim bumps, as you can see above the P and down by the stars. When you flip over the coin, this is where we take a look at the rim. It's starting to really wear out on both sides here, and these rim bumps are showing up on the reverse as well. But when we take a look at the coin overall, I do think it's AG condition, and uh, I would love for you guys to, to let me know what you think as well. I just think the rim is a little bit more beat up on this coin, and when you take a look at the details in the Morgan there, it's definitely flatter, and there's less detail than this one right here. So... Just something for you guys to take a look at here. Thank you for, you know, bearing with me and talking through these coins. Um, they're pretty neat pieces, and I can't wait to see what PCGS thinks about them. We want to give you guys a quick thanks for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the raw coins and the new purchases. Subscribe if you're new. And if you guys are interested in bullion, we do sell a lot locally in the Houston area and in Texas. So if you're from Texas, make sure to reach out to me, 832-538-4122. We can work on getting you guys some bullion and uh, adding to your stack. But we'll see you guys in the next video.